What's up, Team DMS? It's the Master Stylist, and I am back with another video. Today, I'm going to be using Sensational in a 2730 mixed. I've already split the tracks. We're using two packs of 8 inch hair, and we're going to go ahead and get right in with the bonding. Stocking cap and paper has already been applied to her head. If you want to see more of that, you can go ahead and purchase my DVD, which is available on my website at themasterstylist.com. It goes into full details, braid patterns, uh, proper way to apply the cap, protect the hair, um, everything. Cutting, why I'm cutting a certain way, things that I don't really you know, getting to get into on YouTube, those things will be available on the DVD. So you guys go ahead and catch that DVD while it's on sale right now for 20 bucks. So she is pretty much getting like the Kelly cut, but she wanted it long. So we are going to leave it long and I'll call it the Kelly cut extended <laughs> or something like that. I don't know, but you guys just stay tuned for the rest of this video. So I'm parting off her sides in like a mohawk parting section and I'm going to go ahead with my H2O, spray her down and then we're going to go ahead and cut. Now the one thing that I did not like about this color that it is color that is mixed which is kind of like stripy in the pack. So I don't think it was a good color choice for a shortcut. Now, we probably should have done like maybe a 27 on a size and then, I'm sorry, a 30 on a size and then do like the 27 and 30 mix in the top. And then I think it would have been like a lot better, but that was the only complaint. I've used Sensual, Sensational's hair like plenty of times. Um, It's probably one of the 
main hairs that I have people get because it's easy to find and a lot of beauty supply stores carry it. But I don't like the color. Um, I like the color. I love 27 and 30, but I just don't like it as this uh, shortcut. And I didn't notice it until I already started cutting because I probably would have told her to go and exchange it for um, at least to get one pack of 30. But it is what it is at the end of the day. The client liked it. She's also my friend. So, you know, hey. <laughs> And I always like to use a fresh set of razors when I am um, using my razor comb. Just something about fresh, new, never been used. I'm not struggling, trying to cut. I mean, the razors don't cost that much. So just go ahead and get your fresh, uh, change the razors out before you start cutting. Going in with a few drops of my main oil. It also is available at mainlifestudio.com. I'm only using a dime size amount. And we're just going to go ahead and put that in the hair all over before we start flat ironing.
And this is a one inch BB flat iron. I do not have a link to this flat iron. I have a link to one similar. I got this iron from um, Burlington Coat Factory. So you know how it is. When you get stuff from out of there, it's like a hit and miss. So I'm going to take a little bit of main mint foam, put it on her sides, just the very sides because they just weren't, you know, doing it for me. They wasn't laying down good. So we're just going to put that on the sides and then I'm going to take my wrap strips and put her in the dryer for about 15 minutes. Now that she's dry, her sides are flat the way I want them. And voila, there she is. The Kelly Cut Extended. <laughs> They're super long tail. It's not that long, but it's it's longer than, um, you know, we would normally have it. I'm going to cut just a couple of more layers in the front just to give that bang a little more movement. And, uh, yeah, that is, is, is it. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell to get future notifications. I love you guys so much and I will see you again for the next video.